Welcome to Packet Tracer. Configure initial router settings. Objectives Part 1 Verify the default router configuration. Part 2 Configure and verify the initial router configuration. Part 3 Save the running configuration file. Part 1 Verify the default router configuration. Choose a console cable from the available connections. Click PCA and select RS232. Click R1, select console, click PCA, desktop, terminal, OK. Press enter. You are now able to configure R1. Step 2, enter privileged mode and examine the current configuration. Router, let's hit, type it enable. Notice the prompt changed in the configuration to reflect privileged exec mode. Now enter the show running config command. Answer the following questions. What is the router's host name? The host name is router. How many fast Ethernet interfaces does the router have? Four. How many gigabit Ethernet faces does a router have? Two. How many serial interfaces does a router have? Two. What is the range of the value shown for the VTY lines? 0 through 4. Display the current contents of MVRAM. Show startup config. Why does the router respond with startup config is not present message? Well, it's because we haven't configured anything for the router, so nothing's in NVRAM yet. Part 2 Configure and verify the initial router configuration. Step 1 Configure the initial router settings on R1. R1 as the host name. We need to get the configuration. So config T, host name R1. Use the following passwords console let me in. Privilege exec, unencrypted, Cisco. Privilege exec, encrypted, it's a secret. Encrypt all plain text passwords. Message of the day text Unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. Step 2. Verify the initial settings on R1. 
What command do you use? Show running config. Exit the console session to see the following message. Press enter to get started. And there's our banner, user access verification. Why should every router have a message of the day banner? This just warns people who are not uh, getting access to this uh, level of commands for the router. It gives them a warning that they're not permitted. If you're not prompted for a password, what console line did you forget to configure? Log in. Enter the passwords necessary to return to privilege exec mode. Part 3, save the running configuration file. And that would be copy, running config, start config. Now have 80 out of 80. We're all done. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks.